Biasa makan masakan istana dan cook masak So, I have to adapt and learn I kena belajar lah Macam mana buat langsung tara Dia punya nasi lemak pelis Putu mayam, apa? Putu mayam goreng Putu mayam, tapi goreng Buat guna macam nasi macam ni goreng Lepas tu nasi lemak, nasi lemak pun lain Nasi lemak uh, macam almarhum Almarhum ayah anda dulu Cara dia lain Sambal dia kena makan dengan sambal kelapa pada uh, sambal sardin kan, sambal sardin, dia kata nasi pun lain, ada halpa, ada bawang, masak. So benda tu kita belajar lah. Ha, ni, ni. Oh dia dah tera dah. Dia makan Sarawak, name it. Ha, pernah dengar buat dah abang kan? Ha, ini ha, peminat nombor satu dah. Ha, buat dah abang, buat terap, tahu kan buat terap yang macam uh, buah lah, manis kan. Ini pun sama juga. Muka my children semua, I dah ajar. All the children, teach them to eat both sides. Macam saya kan, perlu banyak kekeli kan? Kekeli. Saya tak makan ke? Tak pernah makan pun. And then when got married to him, I have no choice. So, kau belajar kena paksa. So, makan. Makan-makan, it seems to be nice. So, all the children adapt. Macam, your family juga all the internal organ macam, apa? Lidah. Lidah semua tu dia pun masak ha? Oh semua masak-masak Masak Wow Masak kicap dia Tapi anak-anak saya saya ajar Saya bagi je So they all adapt to it Saya eat tak? Saya eat come and try the food Ha <laughs> dia tentu So anak-anak ikut lah Tapi Dia Tak memang aku dah ajar dia makan we, we, we eat whenever we go We eat and Aku actually we force the children Tak lah for dia macam Talk to them Give, give it a try. If you don't like, tak apa. He's very determined now. If he wants to do something, she makes sure you know, that he's done well. Now. But character I like. Now. I, I look after you well, right? <laughs> Complain tak ada Ha? I got no complain Oh you got no complain, ok I mean basically most of the time pilihan raya um, As usual, the first first day raya usually Saya follow who? Because memang dari dulu, it's always like that So, unless kalau Um, ada something that not tu apa yang kita tak boleh nak uh, uh, force the issue then keraya dengan saya but most of the time always first day raya second day raya kita balik point this usually that uh, cool will spend time dengan dulu dengan uh, mahupunda uh, 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 sekarang dengan tuan kura aja lah uh, because dia orang uh, dia beradik kan so kena gaduh dengan dia so I have to talk to my parents so they don't they don't understand dia tahu dah so usually my family kalau nak gathering pun raya ketiga raya kedua then i meet up and i gather our own raya dengan my brothers macam tahun ni tu my parents was in Sarawak so kita orang raya ke sini and then raya ke raya ke berapa ni baru kita spend time kat sini Sarawak kita celebrate is like the whole week long and di dekat Sarawak, there's no such thing as open house tau. Rumah sentiasa open. So, everybody is welcome every day. Macam sini, kalau tak ada invitation open house, nobody comes to your house. Ha, that's kind of thing lah. Basically, dia orang tak boleh datang. Kecuali, ada open house. Ha, it's like, macam. Tapi, my friend kat sini semua dah tahu dah. My house always open. From day one to the whole month of raya. So, dia cakap datang, just call. If I'm around, just come. There's always food. So nothing to worry me. Yeah? We always have food. Jarak macam Jarak macam mana? But we celebrate here most of the time. So how do you find the celebration? 
<laughs> the truth. <laughs> loud. I'm very loud now. <laughs> Nice, see them happy all the time. Kek lapis tu memang mesti ada. Because usually kek lapis saya buat sendiri. Saya jarang beli. Because ku kalau nak kat ikut kan memang cewek. So, kalau kek tu macam kering dah sab, tak nak lah. So, kita masak lah, kita balas. Usually, the last week of Raya tu, I'll be in the kitchen buat kek. Kek lapis tu is either for us or to give away. Banyak usually kita bagi orang eh. Like uh, friends and neighbors. Uh.